What's up everyone, Tara Roberts here with Fantasy Pros and we are talking NFL Power Rankings. Where is each team checking in as we get one step closer to the playoffs? I've got you covered. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Fantasy Pros across all platforms. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Heading up the back of our list are the Jacksonville Jaguars at number 32. Urban Meyer getting the boot was clearly the right move, but it just wasn't enough to really make a difference with this team. At number 31, we have the New York Giants, who in all likelihood are just hoping that the season comes to an end as soon as possible. At number 30, we've got the Carolina Panthers, who have been tumbling down NFL power rankings since October. To be fair, the loss of Christian McCaffrey was a huge part of that, but the Panthers have just really struggled to find their footing. And the return of Sam Darnold in week 16 was probably about as much as we could have expected, losing 32 to 6 to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both Sam Darnold and Cam Newton played, combining for 22 completions on 45 attempts for 250 yards and one Cam Newton interception. At 29, the Zach Wilson led Jets are coming off a 26 to 21 victory over the Jags, moving them slightly up in the power rankings. At number 28 are the Houston Texans coming off of one of the more shocking victories of the season, a huge 41 to 29 victory over the Los Angeles Chargers. Dan Campbell's Detroit Lions come in at number 27. Considering they were almost a consensus lock for the first overall pick, this is huge progress for the Lions. At number 26, we have the Washington football team coming off a big loss to the Dallas Cowboys. Sitting at 25, we have the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks have a lot to figure out this offseason. From Russell Wilson's request for a trade to a struggling running back group, things just aren't looking up and big changes are likely coming. Things likely would have gone different had Russell Wilson not broken his finger, but at no point during the season did you ever feel like the Seahawks were a serious contender. The Chicago Bears come in at number 25 with a close win over Seattle with Nick Foles at the helm. At number 23, the Atlanta Falcons are coming off a victory over the Detroit Lions, keeping their technical playoff hopes alive. Fresh off a loss to the Las Vegas Raiders, the Denver Broncos are coming in at number 22. At number 21, we've got the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are still in the mix for the playoffs and have a couple of favorable matchups to close out the season after a tough loss to the Miami Dolphins. As we close out what looks like the end of an era for Ben Roethlisberger, the Pittsburgh Steelers sit at number 20 in this week's power rankings. At number 19, we've got the Minnesota Vikings battling for one of the last NFC playoff spots coming off a tough loss to the Los Angeles Rams. It's not going to be easy as the Vikings face the 12-3 Packers in a primetime game. And you know how that typically goes for Kirk Cousins. They'll also be without Adam Thielen, who just had season-ending surgery. This is a huge game for the Vikings, who are in a must-win situation if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. At number 18, we've got the Cleveland Browns coming off a tough loss to the Green Bay Packers. The Baltimore Ravens are checking in at number 17. This would essentially be their fourth game without Lamar Jackson, who did return to practice on Wednesday, but as of Thursday doesn't appear to be trending in the right direction. The Ravens are on the outside looking in, hoping to work their way into the playoffs, but after a true beatdown from the Cincinnati Bengals and now a Week 17 matchup against the LA Rams, the odds are looking slim. At number 16, we've got the Raiders coming off of a 17-13 win against the Denver Broncos. The Philadelphia Eagles sit at number 15 this week after a win over the New York Giants. At number 14, we have the Los Angeles Chargers, who are struggling on the bubble for a playoff spot and took a huge loss to the Texans in a game where Rex Burkhead had 149 yards on the ground. At number 13, we have the San Francisco 49ers coming off a tough loss to the Tennessee Titans. Coming in at number 12 are the surging Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are coming off a dominating defensive performance against the New Orleans Saints and have won seven games in a row to push their way to the seventh seed in the AFC. Rookie Jalen Waddell has asserted himself not only as the Dolphins wide receiver one, but as one of the top receivers in the NFL as a whole. Those early season struggles are far behind the Dolphins. 
At number 11, the Tennessee Titans are coming off a narrow 20-17 victory over the San Francisco 49ers. Despite losing Derrick Henry in Week 9, despite A.J. Brown's stint on IR, and despite Julio Jones adding literally nothing to the Titans' offense, the Titans have scraped and clawed their way to the number two spot in the AFC. A level of inconsistency plus tough losses to bad teams keeps them from cracking the top 10 this week. The Arizona Cardinals just barely hang on to a top 10 spot, coming in right at number 10 after a tough loss to the Indianapolis Colts. At number 9, the Cincinnati Bengals aren't the most consistent team in the world, but they are currently the number 3 seed in the AFC, coming off an absolutely insane offensive showcase. 41 to 21 victory over the Baltimore Ravens where Joe Burrow threw for 525 yards and four touchdowns with Jamar Chase catching over 100 yards and T Higgins just six yards short of 200. The Bengals just aren't a team that anyone wants to face in the playoffs. Coming in at number eight, we've got the New England Patriots who are kind of on a mini tailspin losing two games in a row to playoff contenders. At number seven, we've got the Indianapolis Colts coming off a big win against the Arizona Cardinals. The Colts are one of four teams with a nine and six record in the AFC looking to clinch a playoff spot. The Buffalo Bills sit at number six after a huge victory in their second matchup against New England, winning 33 to 21. At number five, we've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming off a 32 to six victory over the Carolina Panthers. The Bucks held it together after the loss of Chris Godwin for the season, Mike Evans, who is week to week, and Leonard Fournette, who landed on IR. Luckily for the Bucks, they have some soft matchups coming up against the Jets and the Panthers, and they have already clinched their playoff spot. Coming in at number four, we've got the Los Angeles Rams coming off a 30 to 23 victory over the Minnesota Vikings. At number three, we've got the Dallas Cowboys who are coming off an absolute demolition of the Washington football team, winning 56 to 14. Dak Prescott was 28 of 39 for 330 yards and four touchdowns. The defense continued its season-long dominance with two interceptions, one by Demarcus Lawrence and the other by, you already know it, Trayvon Diggs, of course. Despite an 11-4 record and currently holding the number two seed in the NFC, the Cowboys have been the subject of a lot of skepticism, but I'm a believer and the Cowboys are an incredibly well-rounded team. Falling just short of the number one spot are the Kansas City Chiefs at number two. The Chiefs are on a roll, winning their eighth game in a row, a blowout victory over the Steelers. And in our number one spot, we have the Green Bay Packers. Despite his toe injury and occasional limping around the field, Aaron Rodgers has been lights out since the Packers' Week 11 matchup against Minnesota, throwing a total of 16 touchdowns over the past five games. The victory over the Browns was less than perfect, given the Browns had an excellent shot of winning, but that wasn't enough to knock Green Bay out of the number one spot as they head into the Week 17 matchup against the Minnesota Vikings. And that wraps things up for my Week 17 NFL Power Rankings. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Fantasy Pros across all platforms so that you don't miss out on any of our fantastic daily content.